three deals have been, you know, 45, 46 million a year. The complicating factor is Deshaun Watson, who had the fully guaranteed $230 million. And again, we've talked about this for a year. If I'm Lamar Jackson, I walk in, I say, Steve Bashotti, guess what? I'm not going to ask for five cents more. I am. Okay. I'm asking for a lot more at this <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> now you can. But but I'm not taking five cents less, and he has $230 million. It, I, I, think, I think if I'm Jalen Hurts, well, obviously I'm not taking your deal, right, until the spring, until Lamar gets done because I'm putting myself in a position to now piggyback off him. Mm-hmm. So if he's at 260 fully guaranteed, well, let's talk now. I have a question Let's about talk. I have a question about Lamar and Odell. I think that's very interesting what you brought up, Mike T. Odell could be even coming off an injury could be a tipping point once the playoffs come or, or late in the season. Yeah. Let's say, Key, this has been touched on in the past and people denied it, whatever. But as a receiver, you had reservations about Lamar's passing game in the past compared to the elite passers of the league, and then this year watching him pass the ball, you said, you know what? No, like he has reached another level yeah, as a I, passer. I, I, I would have played with him because that's me. You see the quarterbacks I play with. Yeah. I don't give a damn. I'll of make course. him. I'll make him. Look but you good. wouldn't have played with him over Aaron Rodgers. No. Or, okay. No. So now what I'm asking yes. is. Yes. So ha- enough has finish. enough yes. has changed that Absolutely. if you're Odell, you're looking at Lamar and saying, "Wait, this is new. He's now passing the ball so well. I want to be there." But I think I think Odell had the same mindset as me. Anyway, if the, if it's available to me and I can go to Baltimore and that makes sense, I'm doing it. And I think Odell is that type of person as well. But it does for me. I don't know because of his injury if that if if it makes sense. It's a late acquisition, playoff, Von Miller type to the Rams. That's what it is. But, Keith, the inverse of that was Von Miller and OBJ helped the Rams get over the hump yeah. a mm-hmm. year ago. And now, to me, like, if you're Tampa Bay, like, again, you're probably recruiting Gronk, right? Like, there's yes. a couple of players out there that could maybe make a difference. Why yeah. would you follow Von Miller again and go to Buffalo? Him and Diggs. I mean, maybe got, he will. Yeah, they got Gabriel Davis. I mean, maybe he will. He, he could impact some team. And, again, I know he's come off of the ACL, off of the ACL, but – 20 plays a game by Rob Gronkowski or OBJ could be the most important 20 plays of the game. I love your idea for Baltimore because, again, what it signifies to me, whether or not Odell would have done it in the past, to me it seems like the way Lamar Jackson is playing right now, he has risen. I imagine if I were a receiver, and he was fine in the past as a passer, but – I would imagine now you're like, yeah, I could go to Baltimore just like I could go to Green Bay or wherever. But again, I'll say it again, Max, and again and again. It has never been a reservation about Lamar. It's about the organization. Uh It's about Mike Tannenbaum making a decision. I need to go get a receiver. Style of the offense, all that. He didn't – Lamar Jackson – guys aren't in Baltimore, not in Baltimore because of Lamar. It's the organization. They're the ones that's saying – Eh, we we don't want a receiver. You're we'll, not saying, but something ha- nobody. As good, I thought Lamar was the best player on earth until nobody. he got hurt last year. Three different weeks, he was better than everybody else, right? So, I still think this year it's gotten even raised to another. Like Aaron Judge hit 52 home runs as a rookie. He did a new thing this year. Yeah. Is Lamar doing a new thing this yeah. year? I'll give you guys a great example. Like the Jets have all these injuries on the offensive line. Joe Flacco's a statue. I mean. It's 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 game over, right? Can't move. Cannot move key. Now, no one's talking about this. Look at the Ravens left tackle. Ronnie Stanley out. still hasn't played. Yep. Jawan James goes in, out. Patrick McCarry, he got hurt. Like, and that's greatness. Like Lamar Jackson's thriving as an MVP, and they may be on their fourth left tackle. Oh, You're oh, talking God. about a team that's thriving a fourth left tackle and not having a tackle anymore in San San Diego. The Los Angeles Chargers and Justin Herbert with the barbecue ribs. As a general manager, front office executive, Mike, when you're sitting in the press box and you're up there with Coach Parcells or whatever, and you look out on the field and you see your quarterback and Justin Herbert with barbecue ribs still in the football game after leaving him in against the Kansas City Chiefs, and then again the following week with four losing minutes by four to go, touchdowns, four minutes left in the game, and you have no chance to win. He's still in. What would you say to Brandon Staley after the game yeah, in that I, situation? Yeah, I'd be talking before the game, after the game. That, that's I would not let that happen, Keith, because Justin Herbert's health is the most important thing about the future of our franchise. It doesn't matter if we beat Jacksonville or not. He, like, he's just not ready to go. Like, I would protect him from himself. And 
that's one of those things you're talking about all week. And if you're going to give Justin Herbert a chance, hey, as long as it's a one-score game in the fourth quarter, he can stay in. But if it's two scores or more, he's out. So those things are happening ahead of time, Key. And his health is paramount for our future. It reminds me of, guys, like, remember when uh, RG3 talked Shanahan into leaving him in that playoff game? And that was basically the end of his career on that level. you got to protect the guy from himself, as you said, Key. Yeah, but I'm going to tell his ass to come out anyway. I'm, and, and even as a teammate and a player, I might tell him, say, man, get this dude out of the game. Mike knows me. I don't have a problem having a confrontation with the coaches and letting them know, man, get him out. We ain't, we ain't doing it. We got ready to leave. What the hell are you doing? Because Brandon Staley continues. I don't want to call him, I don't want to say boneheaded, but he continues to do things that make you question his... I don't know his his decision making. Decision making. He, you bring it. He, he brings you know? it up all the time. He, he, you get the feeling like certain coaches are trying to show you how smart they are, right? As opposed, you're to, not smart, uh, right? Eight, That's eight, the eight, dumbest eight. thing ever. To put a ribbon on this conversation, guys, we're talking about a quarter of a billion dollars. Lamar, Jalen Hurts, you know, Herbert's going to be that a quarter of a billion dollars. You want your owner in that conversation, your GM, your head coach, your medical people. Like you just can't say to the. And it's not anything against Brandon Staley per se, but. This is not just a head coach decision. When you're talking about for the next 15 years, you hope Justin Herbert's, you know, representing your franchise and and all the things he could bring to you it. You want him to be your Philip Rivers. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what you want him to be. You want him to be your Dan Fouts. Yeah, Mike. Can we can we talk about another quarterback actually? And Patrick Mahomes and their OC Eric Bieniemy having that little bit of a of a disagreement is a nice term to apply here. Uh, at the, before the half when they didn't get a chance to get the three points. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's two people that care deeply and are competitive, and they have a lot of equity in a relationship. They have spilled a lot of blood together, so I'm good with it, and it's just two people that want to win. Hey, Jay, in football, I don't know about basketball. Uh, basketball happens all the time, too. Altercation football, is fine, man. It's, it's normal. Sometimes it's healthy. Sometimes you need it. Yes. What about the actual fact that they weren't, like, they lose, as Jay pointed out yesterday, they lose by a field goal. Why are you giving up offensive plays at that time? There's so much going on in the league. I mean, did you guys see last night Dallas on third down with, with less than two minutes to go and your opponent has no timeouts? A good Pop Warner coach will know, do not go out of bounds. They gave the Giants a fourth timeout, and that's the only reason the Giants had a chance at the end. I mean, there's just so many things going on. Like Nathaniel Hackett, they already brought in you know another coach to help I, him. Don't get me started with that. I don't want to hear anything about, oh, he's the first time here. Oh. That's a smart move, Key. You have a fall yeah. guy. If you're Hackett, you got a fall guy now. But uh, all I'm, I'm going to do is say, what you say, what'd you say you're, Mike? You're 100% Don't right. It's tell your, me that. It's your job description. You know what bothers me yes. about that? Instead of being on Twitter in May and June, when you're asking your players to make sacrifices and get better at their job, you get better at your job. Like, not to be prepared for those situations is not acceptable. Don't ex don't sit here and tell me you want the job as a head coach in the National Football League and you can't manage what you know, you sold me in our meeting. Oh, I could do this on the board. I could do that. Now I give you the keys to the car, and you don't even know how to start it. Nathaniel Hackett's supposed to be this great offensive mind and all of this. Sort of, he got hired based on all of that. Oh, he coached Aaron Rodgers. Did he really coach Aaron Rodgers? Did Aaron Rodgers coach himself? Now we're looking at Russell Wilson struggle in that offense endeavor, struggle. We've seen bonehead things by him as a head coach. Okay, mismanaging things. We watched against Seattle. I mean, like, enough excuses. But he has one thing going for him, apparently. Yeah, they sit atop of the NFC, AFC West. He has one thing going for him, too. Tied with, last as an I, offensive. I hear you, but they're that's tied fake, with the Chiefs. James, I, I, I get, I'm not condoning it, nor am I backing it up. That's I'm just a saying. Fake two and statement one. of fact. Statement it, of fact. It's where it is. Hey, no, he, has one good, he has one thing going for him, Nathaniel Hackett, apparently, which helped him with his job. He's not Eric the Enemy, because apparently he got the job as the head coach. As long as you're not Eric Bieniemy, apparently you can get a job as a head coach. Is Lamar Jackson?